What's up? Welcome to part one of the Joust Complete Restore. Might as well be a rebuild because, well, let me just show you. So, this is the cabinet that I'm working with. It's completely gutted. Artwork is in pretty shitty shape. Need some Bondo work on the bottom. Uh, more so on the front. New, new everything. I mean, damn. All right, so the artwork is definitely in jacked up shape. Uh, I actually did this part. It was completely black. I picked up some scissor strip at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, found out if you leave it on for about 15 minutes, it comes up pretty well. But if you take it up any earlier than that, there's either primer or what's left over of the latex black paint, uh, which is that gray shit. Then, so if you put citrus strip on top of the gray stuff, this is what happens when you go to take it up. Ends up eating away at the paint underneath. Um, so I'm trying to salvage what's there. I uh, probably just end up getting a damn stencil and just redoing the whole thing, but I figured save myself 85 bucks and see if I can just keep it. Uh, we got a big gouge here. Mm, maybe do some bondo work there. But so yeah, so a citrus strip, 15 minutes turns out like that. Oh, focus. Like this area. You leave it. Take it off 10 minutes. You leave this gray stuff. If you put it on the gray stuff, within even if you take it up within two seconds, you get this smeary crap right here. So 15 minutes tops. But I don't think we're gonna be doing any artwork today. I got too much other damn work to do. Um, so yeah, let's get started on the control panel. Control panel also jacked up. I mean, look how many damn extra holes there are. Uh, originally, this game when I picked it up, it was actually a 10-yard fight, which is crappy football game in my opinion there might be some 10 yard fight fans out there who knows but so it was originally a joust they converted it to a 10 yard fight and drilled some new holes and so yeah I gotta bondo those extra holes and actually redo some holes for the joust control panel overlay which is, ooh, where is it at? I actually have all the parts of this stuff dun, 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 dun. bear with me Bam! So it's gonna look pretty hot after putting this on there. But only holes that lined up were were for the joysticks. These flap holes were not drilled on this. So I don't know if it's a control panel off another Williams game. Who knows? So that's what this hole is here. Started drilling that out. This one here. So I gotta finish doing that. Um these metal control panels are a pain in the ass to drill through. Wood's way easier, but I'm trying to keep it as original as possible. So the way I'm doing this is with this bit here. It's called a step drill bit. Um, it's made from metal. I think it's actually made out of titanium. Picked up from Amazon for like 15 bucks, but definitely needed for uh, metal control panels. But what sucks is when you use an electric cordless drill, the bastard dies after like 10 minutes because you're constantly grinding away at this metal stuff. So I recommend getting one of these uh, plug in the wall power drills. So let's see if I can drill these new holes and see how it turns out. All right, so we're all set up with the drill. Um, another thing you want to keep in mind is you need to lube up the drill bit with the metal or else it I don't know if it deteriorates this. I don't know, it just seems to work better. And everywhere I read online says to put WD-40 on it as you're doing it. So, let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Jesus Christ. Come on, you bitch. 
and it'll kick on you like a damn mule. Jesus Christ. More lube. Lube up the bit. All right, so we got the last hole drilled. Uh, so we got more holes, yay! So we're gonna have to learn how to patch these other unnecessary holes. All right, well my holes are lined up. Um, I'm thinking I might need to actually shave out some more of these. Uh, some more of the metal in the holes, just because it's a tight fit. Like as you can see, like I mean, let's focus on this bitch. It's got about a centimeter gap. I'm hoping it's just because of the extra material, like. Come on, focus. Focus. Extra material, I just ended up shoving it down here when I cut out the holes. Um, that's what actually sucks about this control panel, or the control panel overlay, I mean. Um, it didn't have the holes pre-cut or even pre-drawn out of where the holes should be, uh, which really sucks in a case where the control panels different than the original I had to do some yeah I guess measurements I kind of just eyeballed it but it looked like it did pretty well I mean this is where the joystick will go that button start start um, yeah and the joystick but yeah it, the it's just a tight friggin not gonna go in there so we'll see about that when we actually put the control panel really on uh, I still got to patch 38 holes in the thing to begin with so Let's do that next. All right, now we're ready to patch these extra effing holes. Um, little trick I do is I just put duct tape over the holes that I'm going to be patching. And when you go to bondo it, your bondo has something to pretty much keep it from not going to the other end. Uh, I've actually only done this on wooden panels. I'm hoping the same thing will work on a metal. Uh, I hope bondo works in general on metal. I don't know. I guess worst case I use some like JB Weld. Maybe we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes to patch. So let's get the Bondo in. Alright, Bondo is done. Uh, I keep pausing the video just because I really don't feel like dropping my camera. And Bondo is some pretty messy stuff. You can't really do it one handed. Um, looks like it's going to stay. I don't know. We'll see what happens when we take off the duct tape. But uh, it's kind of ugly back here. I may say it, I may not. I mean, when the control panel is closed, out of sight, out of mind. So it really gives a hell. Oh shit, did I miss a. Oh no, it's supposed to be there. So, hopefully, those are going to be the only holes you see. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, if it dries soon, we can actually put this control panel overlay on. Get that out of here. Pretty excited for that one. And then, what else needs to be done? Oh, just everything, because look at the damn thing. I'm gonna focus. Focus. Bam. This one's gonna take forever. But I got most of the parts here. It might go quicker than I actually think. So let this dry. People say let it dry for 24 hours. I'm impatient. I mean, it's not like it's holding up anything. It's just make sure like my drunk friends don't poke their holes to the friggin' control panel. So we'll see how this turns out. Alright, Bondo is pretty dry. Actually, it's really dry. And effing hard. Uh, that looks like shit, but who cares? You're not gonna see it. 
As long as it doesn't get in the way of the buttons or the joystick, oh, I think we'll be all right. Anyway, let's peel off the duct tape and see what we're working with. It's actually pretty smooth. Um, I'll probably sand it just because I don't want this weird ass shape to go through on the uh, CPO. Same thing with that one. But it doesn't seem like they're going anywhere. Come on, you bastard. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. This one's got a little bit of a divot. I'll probably go over that. Same thing with this. It didn't really seed correctly here. I probably just didn't have enough on it initially. Uh, I did actually go back over and add a little bit more. Just some some spots seemed a little bit soft and what they're going to push through. So I'll probably smear a little bit on this, kind of even it out. Then I'll sand because I don't think you're going to be able to see this either. Well, actually, that's perfect. See how this goes up a little bit? You don't want that to come through on your CPO. But I think we're in good good state here. Yeah, it's probably fine. Cool. All right. All right. So I did end up sanding it. Um, I didn't go back and fill it. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. But it does feel a lot smoother now. So hopefully that shit does not pop through. I'm going to be pissed if it does. But uh, looking a little better. Almost there, psych. We got a lot of shit to do. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day today. Next video will probably just be all artwork with the control panel overlay, the marquee, and the bezel. Cause this shit is gonna be. I am not looking forward to doing this part. I'm thinking uh, about just painting over it and just starting from scratch because. That's gonna be a lot of touch up work and I don't have the time or patience. F it. Anyway, see ya next time.